Hello, Roger Bisby here from Skill Builder. We're back with Robin on site. He's carrying on with his capable build, his timber frame, and uh, he's fully uh, sponsored here. Well, I don't know about oh, that. But come on, Festal. <laughs> Show a little love to this kid. Anyway, how are you getting on, Robin? Yeah, we're going well. I mean, the weather's against us. We've had nothing but rain and we've got heavy winds at the moment but I don't mind the wind because it dries everything out but every day I'm up here I'm pumping water out just because of the electric and trying to work on it and I've been cutting rafters and fixing rafters the ground's too wet for a proper scaffold on the outside as well it's just sinking at the moment which is fair enough so I'm just battling on basically you know what it's like you just have to do it so you're going to scaffold up the outside are you at some um, point or not probably not because it's yeah. going to be a um, standing seam roof most of the work is done on the roof yeah. And because the eave is only about 2.3 metres from the ground level, we could pretty much do a section of tower to get access yeah. onto the roof, okay. make it safe. So that's probably what we'll do. We may put a bit of gable, um, scaffold up on one end so you can access the roof from the gable, which is probably the best thing really. To get all these rafters in, we've standardised them as much as possible. So these are all pretty much the same. We're leaving a little bit on here, this foot, but the chances are we're going to cut it off because at the end of this particular roof, it changes from the roof covering to glass. So we're not quite sure how we're going to deal with that yet, so we'll leave a little bit of that on and we'll work with that in situ. Because what we may do is incorporate a soffit to get some ventilation into this void and then start the glazing system off of this end here. So but that's, that's the idea. So what we'll do is we'll leave all the timber on for now and then we've Basically, got the option. Bobby. You're going to make it up as you go along. Well, that's basically, and we don't have any detail, so it's uh, a matter of, um, they do yeah. Drawing, don't they? They yeah. How are you going to work Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Down so, um, yeah, it is basically down to us. So I'm going to flick this up there. I'm going to try it in a couple of places. If it's good, then I'm going to break out as many as I need. So it'll be five and nine, so that's 14 we need all together. That's just the common rafters, which are from the ridge to the plate. So that's just the parallel ones. After that, they're all valleys and hips. So we've okay. got cripple jacks. So you can see that the plumb cut's fairly good. That's gonna work. Yeah. I'm just gonna try it in the other section. 19 degrees this roof is. And what you have to do is check all your datums and make sure you make them at the tightest point. So you start there pitching there and keeping all of the tops of the rafters with this top of this beam. Any undulation will show at the back of the plate and it might be a couple of mil. And it's amazing how a couple of mil will make that so much higher at such a low pitch, especially with a big timber. So I'm going to try that over there now. You can see I've had to put a bit of damp proof course over the tops of all these beams because the water will then, a lot of it will run off. It's windy. I just keep my eyes shut and it's a lot easier. Yep, that's good to go that guys. All right, we're happy with that. So now we can get that down. Everything to that now, yeah. Oh, I was just taking the um, fur off of the other side of that cut. So that's the side I cut through, the other side with the circular saw. And so that's the side I want to use the template off because that's exactly right. And we've got a pencil with a really soft lead because this timber, as you can see, is damp. Really damp. Even though it's been undercover, it's just... Uh, We've had a lot of rain, a hell of a lot of rain. In fact, I need scuba gear. So it's a little bit fiddly when you're marking out rafters on your own. However, it's all about technique. This particular material has got a good end, a good square end. Although that's not to be relied on, it's helpful. This timber came via Juicens. It's not, a, it's not a material supplier I use much, but um, it was the timber frame company who supplied it. Normally, when I'm cutting rafters, I like to have a little bit to play with, but as you can see, there's, not, there's no waste on these, which is, um, they're pretty, it works out pretty tight. So anyway, so I'll drop this template down the front. There, out of my way. I've got two circular saws because I hate walking backwards and forwards with one. Cut all this end, then I'll cut all that end.
400 centers. Hey love. 400 centers are you? 600. 600. Oh, they look, they're actually... They look closer, but that's because they're bigger timbers. They are, yeah. In fact, I've actually spaced in these at two foot centers, which is slightly more than 600. But it means I haven't got to cut all my uh, sheets of... Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. I've got 52 sheets of ply. And I can probably put 24, 26 full on here without any cuts. Yeah. The work is in the cutting. Yeah. Here, coming through here. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the inside of the building, down yeah. there. Yeah. That's the back of the plate. Yeah. Up top. He's going to be on oh, Jeremy no. Kyle. <laughs> keep it low. Right, Dave. Come on, I've got that. You just keep pumping around. Go, 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 go. That's it. <laughs> you can relax. Ridge. Yeah, of course I will. I better go. I'm on top of a ridge board. And it's useful to walk across again. They've cut their 45 with a machine which is not quite 45 so yeah. that'd be right. Help! You want a hand mate? Help! So that's it, fine. Okay, let's have a cup of tea. Getting this in the dry Robin, uh, yeah. what are you doing? You've, felt, you, you've obviously got, you've got sarking board, yeah? Yeah, we've got 18 mil OSB. Um, so what we're going to do, we've got 600 mil centre rafters. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to use is an OSB 18 mil, eight, um, eight by four sheets, the, op the opposite direction. So yeah. I'm going to count a baton with a 25 mil baton, enabling me to put one all the way through where the joints are, oh, okay. long ways, yeah, nice. and then on top of the rafters this way as well. It also enables me to get above the tight of the glue lamb beam for ventilation, because this roof has got to be ventilated between where the insulation is and the underside of the sarking board. So it's got to be vented continuously. Oh, okay. So that's from the eave, right up, out the ridge, and back down to so the eave again. So where's the membrane coming to? Where, where did you put the membrane? So the membrane I'm going to put on, so a typical kind of this, this is just temporary weather protection. As soon as I put the sarking board on, I'll yeah. put this over the top. Okay. And if we go for zinc roof, then we're going to have to have a, we have to have a zinc membrane underneath it. Yeah, to stop the sound transmission. Yeah, it's partly to do with sound. And, and Yeah, and yeah. so... Um, have a zinc oh, membrane. Two. So, twin membrane? Yeah, well this one will come off. Oh really? This one will be thrown away. Okay, eBay. Uh, yeah. Away. A lot, I have a lot of holes in it, a lot of staple holes in it. So we're just getting some of these rafters up. We've got the big hips and valleys to cut in, which we've, uh, we've been working on. Yeah. And we've got to get those in. Yeah. And then we've got, as I say, probably about three days of um, sarking board. But I'm going to have to wait till the wind drops a bit. Yeah. Because at the moment, the window you know, just... Be standing up there with eight by oh, no. blowing around. I'm more, I'm more worried about the roof lifting off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. What's holding it down? Yeah, I was, anyway. I would, if, I had to, if I had to do it, if the time was a pressure, I'd just leave one or two boards out at the bottom on the back so the wind, so the wind can get out, otherwise you're in trouble. Yeah. It only takes 50 mile an hour winds yeah. consistently yeah. to lift the roof off. Um, While the pool house, last seat, floating over. Sussex. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 I understand. Okay, mate, look, I'm going to come back and see you tomorrow. Okay, mate. You've got the team here. Yeah, yeah. no and worries. See how you're getting on.